With just days to go before Prince Harry jets off to the UK, Meghan Markle was spotted in the wild at a networking event in Montecito, organised by Greycroft, a venture capital firm. Greycroft has invested in Goop. Her attendance at the event was captured by a fan who shared the snaps on Instagram. Greycroft's event saw growth investor Brian Bustamante Nicholson deliver a speech as he said everyone in the audience had been invited because we want to work with you as investors and entrepreneurs and we can't wait to build with you all. Sharing pictures of Megan at the event on social media, a fan wrote, In business mode, yesterday Megan attended an invite-only event featuring a curated guest list of selected individuals at the Rosewood Miramar Beach Hotel in Montecito. Just a stone's throw from the Sussex's home. Thanks to an amazing follower of mine for giving me the heads up. It looks like Netflix isn't interested in American Riviera Orchard, nor are any of Megan's A-list friends. According to reports, Megan's failed to find a CEO to head a brand American Riviera Orchard. Speaking of the hire search, which is said to have started five weeks ago, a California-based source said, the initial CEO search hasn't panned out so far. In an interesting development, Megan's reportedly said to be in talks with Netflix to help enter a commercial partnership with American Riviera Orchard. The source added, this is something new for Netflix. It had run the lifestyle business with Megan, developing products as spin-offs from the show. If a partnership's agreed, it's likely that Netflix would install its own CEO to run operations. Megan doesn't have the capital to back a new venture. She's crazy to announce ARO on social media and not have anything to back it up. Megan proves she's got nothing to sell and no outlook. The contrast between Gwyneth Paltrow effortlessly securing the attendance of the Netflix boss at her opulent lifestyle brand event in the lemon tree adorned American Riviera and Meghan Markle scrambling to film a Hail Mary lifestyle series in a desperate bid to salvage her overpriced Netflix contract is the most remarkable display of dominance. Meghan Markle seems utterly defeated in comparison. Greycroft falls short of meeting the financial needs required by the individual in question who's currently not positioned to solicit such funds. It's apparent that there's no concrete business plan in place, as evidenced by the request for prospective CEOs to develop strategies based solely on a brief 30-second video. This tactic, often seen in dubious ventures, is designed to exploit free ideas without offering compensation. Qualified professionals typically present CVs and references avoiding the pitfalls of providing free advice to potential grifters, as seen in this instance. With only $310 million in startup capital available, Greycroft's investment capacity is relatively limited for a sizable VC group. They entertain proposals exclusively from established companies with a solid customer base, avoiding investment in untested concepts to mitigate potential legal risks. Given Megan's current stage, she's far from meeting the criteria for early funding from a standard VC firm like Greycroft. Even if Greycroft were to deviate from their investment guidelines, which is unlikely given the source of their funding, their initial checks typically range from $100,000 to $5 million. This falls significantly short of Megan's financial requirements, which include covering her entire operational costs, legal fees, marketing expenses and more. With no proven product line and a saturated market in the celebrity lifestyle guru niche, Meghan Markle's financial demands would far surpass Greycroft's investment limits. Moreover, Meghan faces a significant hurdle due to the relatively modest follower count of a venture, American Riviera Orchard. Despite sending samples to parties with a collective audience of over 100 million followers, ARO's follower base remains stagnant. This glaring inefficiency in running a profitable business is evident to observers worldwide, despite having connections like Serena, who owns a VC fund supporting businesses owned by women of colour. Megan has been unable to secure funding. This underscores the challenges facing a project, which is unlikely to progress without substantial financial backing.